And it's done. What do you think? Pretty good? <gasps> Yakinami! Yucky, are you okay? Yakinami! Well, it wasn't easy, <laughs> but I washed him. <laughs> Yakinami! Oh no! Yakinami! Come back! Yes! Or don't. I mean, maybe this is for the best. <laughs> Smell the air! Ah. <sighs> Lou, we hurt his feelings. I don't see how. Think about it. Yakinami was sad when he saw the tent clean and tidy. He loves mess. Oh, yeah. Which means we just need to make a mess again, and he'll come back. Whoa there! I might have another idea. Thanks for helping out. Believe me, Yuti. You're the one helping us out. I hope this works. Be afraid. We're so sorry. Huh? We didn't mean to frighten you off. Huh? Come on. <laughs> and look, we found you a new home. A perfect, stinky home. Yes, Yakinami. You're welcome to stay. <laughs> Yakinami! Yakinami! <laughs> Yakinami! <laughs> Yakinami, <laughs> you rot things. I grow things. We're the two sides of nature. That is mm. sort of amazing. <laughs> Yakinami. Wow. wow. Yakinami. <laughs> what a team. Time to update Yakinami in the book. Very friendly forest, Foggy, with the power to watch anything. And who really stinks. Lou! Sorry. <laughs> who has an interesting aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I try to make new friends, they think I am some kind of monster. Maybe because I'm, I'm big or, or blue. Or because I have a really, really, really loud growl. It makes me feel sad. Oh, poor Yuti. My only friends are the plants and flowers. And you, Snuggle Whirl. Wow! Wow! What, what was that? Ah! Wait! Yuti, I'm... I'm sorry for calling you a beast. We didn't mean to upset you. We thought you might be a big, terrible monster. It was very exciting. Yes. <laughs> but you seem nice. Ah! Oh, are you nice? For example, uh, do you want to eat me? <laughs> Not unless you're a fresh cabbage. Phew. We're pleased to finally meet you, Yuti. I'm Millie. This is Cornwallis and Lou. Pleased to meet you too. <laughs> this is Snuggle World. Your growing power is very impressive. Yeah! No wonder you have such a beautiful garden. Thank you. I collect the best seeds in the forest and plant them here, like these raspberries. Would you like some? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Maybe... Maybe we could have a picnic together. It would be nice to have you around. Sounds amazing. <laughs> and then we found your blue fur, and Lou was really scared. No, I wasn't. <laughs> well, I suppose I do have a big roar. Lou has a book with a scary picture of you. What? Really? Yep. The Big Book of Forest Folk. Have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> this isn't right. No, it's not. <laughs> Let's fix it. Here we go. Much better. Oh, I love this picture, Millie. Beauty is a blue mountain folkie. She's a gentle giant 
who can grow things with her magical roar. Like these berries. Whoa! Whoa. Uh. Excuse me! Oh. <laughs> Lou, jump! What? No way! <gasps> Waterfall! What? It's true. You saved me. Like a real knight. Thanks, Millie. It's okay. I'm happy being me. I don't have to be a knight to be me. So, you won't be wanting this then? Ooh. It was a silly test. Your magic's part of who you are. You're the bravest knight I ever met. Also, the only knight. Arise, Sir Cornwallis. Hooray! Yay! Thanks, Lou. Oh, a little tight. It turns out my granny's book wasn't quite right. Shall we fix it? Great idea. So, there's much more to you, Cornwallis, than she's written here. Cornwallis is a true hero. Definitely worthy of being the knight. He has a magic horn powered by... Mmm, Clover. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's working. Roger again! Oh, it's working! We did it! Remy's followed it to the letter. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And also, can you thank Roger when you see him? All in a day's work. Next up, fix everything else. With a plan. Roger that! I think it's time to update the Big Book of Forest Folk. So, the Grammys do break things, but not because they're bad, they're just trying to help. And now they know they just need to make a plan before they launch into action. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! Thanks, Grammys. You even fixed the loose wheel. Oh, someone else is calling us. Grammys, time to go. Bip, bip. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
saved me. Yeah, of course. That's what I do. When there's something bad about to happen, I get this feeling in my whiskers. So, you don't cause chaos. You sense it. Right. And then rush to help. But what caused it? Well, I think it was probably the loud music. Moved the boulder and... Oh, no. It's my fault. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Lou. I forgive you. Or I will, as long as we can head home. Please? Yes, 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 yes. You mean the party's over? Yes. yes. Oh. For now, let's party tomorrow. Oh. Invite some friends. Yay, Yay party! party! Mm. But before bedtime. Of course, yeah, yes. Yeah, obviously. Night, night. Oh. Hey, make sure I don't sleep for another 50 years, huh? Don't worry, my speaker has an alarm clock too. When it goes off, it's party time! Perfect! <sighs> night, night, Lou. Lou, what are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to update Namu Namu's entry in the book. You know, while it's fresh in my mind. But it's way past our bedtime. Do it in the morning. It won't take long. Uh, just a couple of... OK. You're right. Night, Millie. Night, Lou. <laughs> Miss, watch out! <laughs> oh, no! No! What have I done? <laughs> oh, mushroom! Fucking me, mushroom! Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute! This isn't a top hat to spongy eye! It's the top hat to stinky bong! It's not rare at all! What a waste of time! Ness? Are you okay, mushroom boss? I've been overdoing it! Oh, I'm sorry, Millie! I'm sorry, Cornwallis! And you, Lou! I need to calm down! Well, you could try painting something relaxing. Oh, yes! Like tall, dreamy mountains. Or fluffy clouds. I'll give it a go. Could I paint mushrooms instead? No! no. OK. <laughs> You're probably right. Well, who knew? A bit of time out with some paints and I feel like a new Ness. So, Ness is a very dedicated protector. Who's learning to take a break sometimes. And do a lot less shouting. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can I see your mountains? Of course! Ta-da! Oh, Ness! Mushrooms again! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's under the ocean! Come on, Lou, join in! Uh, OK. My home is, is under, under the ocean. ocean. Everyone <laughs> is <laughs> always in ocean. <laughs> Is always in motion when we dance with the whales. We leap out the waves and high five with only our tails. How? <laughs> Hooray! The song worked! <laughs> well done, us! What a team! <laughs> Alright, let's get you home, cheeky one. Are you coming? Just jump in the puddle. Yes! Coming! Wait, you know that cats don't like the water. <laughs> oh, there we go. Tired little pearl after a busy day. Mama is a great songwriter. And it turns out it's the cute little pearl who brings floods when she's upset. But luckily, she mostly brings rainbows. Hey, you two, I've got an idea. Ta-da! A seesaw? Now what? What's the biggest thing you can turn into? Oh, yes, sir! Fridge freezer incoming! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Brilliant! Is it a new part of the show? <laughs> sort of. 
Thanks, Pippi. You did it. Yeah, and with real magic. Thank you. I suppose I did. My magic is great after all. I am Pippi, the great selection of household objects. Yay! I did this for you, Pippi the Great. Oh, fan art. Thank you. That would look great in the Big Book of Forest Folk. Really? Can I be in your book? Of course. Granny left a few blank pages at the end. Pippi is a real magician who can turn himself into all sorts of things, including... A table, a broom, a vase, a toy... Hey, let's not mention the toilet roll. <laughs> OK? <laughs> OK. <laughs> me. Boom! What? Well, that's not true, is it, Millie? I'm sorry, Lou. I wanted to surprise you by learning how to call the book. I thought a tin whistle might work. I took some cookies as a snack. I didn't realise I'd left a crumb trail. But the whistle was really hard to play. I played a wrong note. The book flew all wonky and landed in a muddy puddle. I tried to clean it in the pond, but it got really wet. I pegged up the wet pages, hoping to come back later once they dried. Oh, I'm sorry, Lou. Why didn't you just tell me, Millie? I hoped I could fix it without you knowing. But then you found out it had gone. I'm sorry, I really am. Oh, Millie, I forgive you. <laughs> but where's the book now? Aha! The last part of the mystery. My guess would be... Under the bed in a box. Oh! Sorry, Lou. I think I've ruined it forever. Well, uh, we can still read it. Uh, look, here's Cornwallis's page. Cornwallis? Of course! Nom, 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 nom. I hope my magic works. I never tried it on books before. Lava power! Cornwallis. And a massive thank you from me. What a relief. Very good. Case closed. Even a touch now... of pepper on fruit can work really well for flavour. Lou, I think you need to say sorry. And maybe try some of their food. Well, yes. Sorry, Nikki. Keeney. I, I suppose I could try a, a little bit. Mm. That's so good. Mm. And with no fish. How? Well, I guess we all know what this means. Yes, it means that today I've learned a lesson. I've learned that I should sometimes try new foods. No, it means it's time for you to clean the dishes. Oh, yes. Don't worry, my friend. We'll lend a hand. Or four. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know my name's Millie? Well, uh... Tiki, why do you keep trying to trick us? I... I just wanted to spend some more time with you. Oh, you're lonely. There is no Termite Tom or Night Fox, right? No. The only way I get to spend time with others is to guide them through the forest. And then they're gone. So you lead them in circles? And tell them stories. So you can have someone to talk to for longer. Yeah. Oh, Tiki. You know, your stories are pretty good. Yeah. Did you make them up yourself? I did. Maybe you could be a storyteller instead of a trickster. Hey, I know. Come with us to the party as our friend. You want me to come with you? After what I've done? Yes. Of course. As long as you promise not to trick us anymore. I promise. Woody Hinge is this way. <laughs> Granny was right for once. Tiki was a trickster. Not anymore. I promise. Yes, from now on, you can be a guide and a storyteller. Yeah, better a storyteller with friends than a trickster with none. It's time.
time for Cornwallis to sing. I like trees and busy little bees. I like them, like them, rah, rah, rah. I like shoes and hats and cats. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sing, 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 sing along. But the children get it wrong. Nitter, natter, natter chitter, chatter. chatter. Come, let's sing this song. Sing, sing, sing along. But the children get it wrong. Nitter, natter, chitter, chatter. Come, let's sing this song. 